What's up, Kelsey? What's up, Robert? It's Friday Roundup time. It's up on Fridays! Okay. <laughs> Man, okay. Movies suck right now. Okay. <laughs> Which is very interesting because there's a lot going on, man. If I seem tired, by the way, mm-hmm. I'm tired, man. Good I'm just moving. tired. I'm tired. Look at this new background. I know. Uh, nothing's fucking anywhere. I think I made the echo go away a little bit. <laughs> like, you sound good to me. <laughs> we're good. Um, so let's just jump right into this. Let's do it. Shitty movies to buy. <laughs> Because these all come out February 14th, next Tuesday. Valentine's it's Valentine's Day. Day. Not oh a goodness. fucking romantic comedy. That Why would you not re-release every romantic comedy across the board? Truly. Give us a fucking Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan, like, collection of movies, you know? Where's they our re-release stuff. bros? <laughs> For real. Just fucking <laughs> give us romantic movies. Yeah. You know what we're getting? What are we getting? Uh, first off, we're getting the Fablemans, where Steven Spielberg loves his self. What? So the Fablemans is directed by Steven Spielberg, written by him, basically about his childhood, growing up to love movies and becoming a director. Okay, it's up for Best Picture. I mean, I saw I wanna, and I'm like, I don't know, I've never heard of it. I want to see it, but not like I wasn't dying to see it. Like he already got me with no, that was Martin Scorsese. He did that Hugo movie. That was up for mm. Best Picture one year, and it, it was about loving movies and making movies. And I was like, I like that shit, too. But, like, I don't know. It's it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, we're getting the Fablemans. That's, All right. you know, whatever. It's not romantic. Uh, Then we're getting a Disney release, that movie Strange World. Do you remember that one? Oh, yeah. I saw, like, one preview for it and then heard nothing. Okay. Well, that's on Valentine's Day because we love it so much, you know? Right. Yeah. Another hot fix our dad to lust after. This is like for real one of their biggest flops in the past like 10 years or something. Dang. I mean, like nobody saw it. It it wasn't like you said promoted. I remember seeing maybe one, maybe two things yeah. about it. I didn't see anything about it. I still don't really know what it is. Too. Yeah. I don't know what the plot's about, but it looks interesting. I don't know. Something about it, you know? Fine. Uh, but it's got a pretty banging steelbook release, though. Oh, that's cool. Like, I do like this one. Because that's probably your poster, you know? Yeah. And this is not the poster. It's quite I nice. I like it. And plus, you get the dog, like, front and center, you man. You get the dog. You get that dog. Everyone loves dogs. The dog is stanced. I know. Hold up. He is missing his front leg. Oh, my God. He sure is. Okay. Well, because I was like, yeah, like, look at that. He's like tucked yeah, his leg in so hard. What this pose was. Yeah. Uh, well, no, he's just missing the leg. So I went back to that first cover and yeah, he's <laughs> missing the leg. Okay. Well, now tripod. I love this dog more. I love tripod dogs. They're the best. <laughs> um. So actually, we do have one romantic movie. Oh, good. Here that we is go. coming out. It's a boutique one. Make it a good one. Tell me if you remember watching this in high school, right? Uh, so Criterion is bringing out the old 1968 Romeo and Juliet movie. Oh, I it, don't know if I've seen that one. You've never seen this one? No. You haven't heard about it in the news lately? No. Making very big waves because... What's happening? <clears throat> these two people were 16 years old when they made this movie. Oh, boy. And they're both naked in this movie. Oh, boy. So they're suing for, uh, like, sexual harassment stuff. Well, good for them. They were children. Fifth, 70 years later? Like, Jesus. Like, it's, I mean, they're doing it now. That's wild. From this time in 1968. So, like, I just heard about this on the news the other day for that, and I was all like, People were like, oh, it was the times. And I'm like, eh, it didn't I have know. to be. <laughs> but then, like, also, doesn't statute of limitations mean anything? Like, can you bring something up from this from 1968 and say, I was a kid, I'd like to be compensated now for that stress? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I mean, they deserve the compensation. Yeah. But whether they'll get it or not, because we'll see, I guess. I fully remember watching this in high school. And when we got to the part where she was naked, because I think we were like sophomores, the teacher like paused the movie and was like, look, guys, (laughs) 
the human fucking body. Get over this part. Okay. <laughs> and I mean, she like kind of like runs out of the bed to grab a blanket. So I mean, sh- she's naked for like one second, maybe okay. two. You just see like butt or something. Oh no, you see like her full blown front. All right. Well, but it's like a high 16. school class. So of course, all you know, everyone's like, whoa, 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 you know, and they go fucking bananas over it, you know. Okay. But I like that's the only reason why I remember this movie was it was such a big deal that they weren't gonna fast forward the part. They were like, I don't feel like doing it. Okay. We're just gonna fucking watch this movie. We're reading it. Just watch it. Don't make a big. De- it's like you know when you're like learning health stuff. Oh my god. And you're like, okay, look, we're gonna say penis We're today say the word. and then they say it and then everyone's still like <laughs> you know? yeah yeah it was like that so that's my remembrance of this film it's just kids going like oh my god oh my. all right but now it's in there for that so i i i did think you would find that interesting because that's it's interesting pretty wild like it's very of the times now reflecting back on this time you know i yeah. mean yeah that was 60s 70s free love stuff was a whole thing i get that but like still pretty bad though that was i know and i'm wondering how that's gonna shake out so maybe we'll follow up on that in the regular show at some point because like that that just started then because it's valentine's day i figured we would show this movie that came out have no idea what it is but it has a lovely person that we both dearly adore on it This is by Freestyle Digital Media. It's a movie called Dear Zoe. Have you heard of it? The name rings a bell. I have not, but it sure got Sadie Sink in it. Oh, Sadie Sink. So I like it. She's so pretty. I know. Well, she's got a lovely release for Valentine's Day. I bet this movie is horrifically sad, though. It looks like it would be. Like, everything about this looks sad. (laughs) It's got a Ferris wheel, a faded notebook page. You know it's a bad time. Like like, a family memory in this balloon that's going <laughs> to pop at any moment. Like, this is horrible. But I bet it's a lovely movie. So well that's pretty much all we have to buy. There's nothing happening. All right. Uh, but if you want to go see a movie today on February 10th, because it is Valentine's Day, the theaters are getting ready. So, of course, oh my goodness. we have to re-release for its 25th anniversary. Oh God, Titanic! Oh Titanic! Wow. Back okay. in theaters, I saw this in theaters and I was like, "Am I hallucinating? <laughs> like, what's happening?" Yeah, it's uh, remastered in 4K 3D. I feel like when I saw it, maybe I saw it five years ago because I saw it when it got released to the theater. It was in 3D as well, and I thought it was already maybe 4K 3D. Maybe it was just 3D. I don't know. I'm trying to make sense of Kate Winslet's haircut here. I've never noticed this on the cover before. I've never seen it so large and in charge. Is her yeah. hair like short on the left side and then long on the right? No, I think it's just swept up behind his head. Like, like I think it's just grabbed right here and just tucked in. But she has like short curls on the side of her head. I bet that's photoshopped to shit. Like, we got to show off her <laughs> face, her lovely face. What you a know? weird choice. I mean... He's clearly not hugging her. Like, he is photoshopped on top of her looking to the he side. He is. Like, this is a bad cover. What yeah, is like, happening? This is not... I'm glad you just said that because you know what I have for you? What do you have for me? I just grabbed this because it was nice, widescreen, says all the pertinent information. But I was going to say, they released a pretty badass poster for this release. Good. Let's have so, it. So, okay, fine. You, you think this is shit? Yes. We think about that one. <gasps> I love that. Is that oh, good or iconic. what? That's so good. That's fucking nice, dude. This is very nice. I like this a lot. I mean, it's freaking me out a little bit, but yeah, it's giving me like heart yeah, palpitations. Like, yeah, like, like I really want to look at it, but too much water. But I really like it. Like, yeah, that's nice. Like you know how we talk about. You guys know we talk about this. Y'all know we talk about. We don't want like the posters and all that stuff, right? I'm Why do you even poster. need? the characters most times like i know you know exactly everything you need to know right here some, like good goncharov themology you know yeah that's <laughs> all you need from this and it's all you need it's yeah. fucking good 
good. Like it's really good. I would buy ten of these just to I have. Know. <laughs> I would not because then it it would create a full wave on the wall and yeah, I'd be, be absolutely sick. terrified. So anyway, you know what does it for me? What does it for it's, you? It's the color. Yeah, like, it's like, a very nice color. No, like I don't like the color of underwater. That's what freaks oh. me out most of the time. <laughs> not a fan of teal. <laughs> not really, I guess. Like that dark blue, it freaks me out. I don't fucking like that. Yeah, I don't mess with water. I don't play. It's Creepy. not It's not my friend. Um, if you and I were ever on a shipwreck, we'd be the first ones dead. Oh, for I don't know. I would, I would definitely panic fight to live, instantly. but I would hate my time. <laughs> like, I don't think I could be one of those people. It's like, all right, let's just like dip under the waves and get get this over with, you know? Oh yeah, no, that's me. Done. I'm the one diving and hitting the propeller on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a MySpace group that I made way back in the day. <laughs> okay. I wanted I. I wanted screenshots from movies that like you couldn't find online, right? So I would get screenshots of movies and one of the first ones was like, I want a screenshot of the dude hitting that propeller in Titanic. What's the matter with you? It's a wild scene. I was like, Whoa, that's that's intense. So I yeah. wanted a screenshot of that. It's a bad screenshot, but anyway. Anyway. If you don't want to see this, you know what else will get your motor running? Tell me. Ch- Channing Tatum, baby. Oh my god. He's doing Magic Mike's last dance. And the final tease. Are you ready for this? I did not know Salma Hayek was involved. I didn't know this was part three. I, I thought, thought like this was part four. two. Really? Yeah, I, I felt like there's been so many freaking oh Magic my god. Mikes. No, so there's Magic Mike, Magic Mike XXL, uh-huh. and now Magic Mike's last dance. And yeah. I fully was not aware of part two i guess because i, I was like, like just... <laughs> i hope they fucking answer my question from the first one which is why i hate that movie <laughs> did you watch this movie <laughs> i did see the first one yeah why because i Holmes... wanted to know what it was about it's about men taking their clothes off right not like that's the whole even. plot what, what? Is and i heist? hate it i hate that fucking movie <laughs> you ready sure so yeah he's a male performer but he meets this girl and gives her brother a job at the club there we go, so that dance. like he can get close to the sister right okay and while the the brother is working at the club he starts like getting into some of the shady stuff that happens there and he starts selling drugs for people oh my god this movie has a whole plot yeah and he wants to quit performing because he wants to make uh furniture he makes like handmade what? tables and stuff <laughs> So he's been saving all this money from performing to now create his own business and get out of that game. And at the end of the fucking movie, the brother took all the drugs that he was supposed to sell for a dude. So they're going to kill him. And he gives up his life savings to bail him out and now can't start his business. It ended. Oh, no. It just ends. Yeah. He gets the girl and goes, well guess I have to strip forever because I gave all my money to your family because your brother's stupid. My God. And I hate that movie. Well, you should see the sequel. See if they resolve that plot line. I am. Well, I was curious about this one. And then I was like, oh, it's three. Guess he never figured out how to get out of stripping. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe he marries this uh, sugar mama lady or something. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, I mean, I guess I got to see part two if I want to see this. Yeah, obviously. No, yeah. So, Magic Mike. You can either go see Titanic, classic love story. Magic Mike, a classic love story in the making. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, But, yeah, that's pretty much it for movies and stuff. All right. Valentine's is uh, a little weak this year, guys. It's not great. I've got a Valentine's surprise for you later, which you're going to be very excited about. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to get into some video games? Uh, of course I am. Let's do it. All right. PlayStation Plus collection. Are you a PlayStation? I don't have to answer. I don't have to ask this. Are you a PlayStation Plus member, Robert? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Um, don't forget that the PlayStation Plus collection is going to shut down on PlayStation Five on May 9th. So, mm-hmm. Sony just kind of announced this out of the blue the other day. They were like, "We're taking this away. We're canning it. We're not telling you why." But you still got it some is months. Dumb. Yeah, I guess they don't. 
need it anymore but um you have a few months to redeem these before they go away forever so yeah. if you want to do it you should do it now um as long as you redeem them before the deadline of may 9th you'll have access as long as you remain a playstation plus member sony sets yeah so they're really good titles mm -hmm. actually there's like some good ones in here some bangers yeah. like i got a war 2018 fallout 4 monster hunter world persona 5 until dawn lots of, lots of good ones so the whole premise of this was when you bought the ps5 you just had all these games ready to go because there were no PS5 oh. games when it first came out. So they were like, hey, oh. let's give you all the best the PS4 had to offer. Right? Yeah. And they just gave them to you for free. And I guess now they're like, yeah, we've ramped up production of the system. If I can buy these games. Yeah. I mean, there's heavy hitters in here. Like, they're good games. Do I... you know what I always hated about this collection? What? I already owned most of them. So I <laughs> didn't get to redeem mo like only but like two of the games. Dang. There's like 19 of them, right? That's it's quite a few. It's a good number. So like, if you don't have them, you should definitely get them. Like, there's you good should ones. get them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's that on that. Um, okay. So there's an antitrust lawsuit happening right now that I was not aware of at all. Okay. Uh, I actually found out about this one through Instagram. I got this ad that was like. <laughs> Are you or one of your family members a victim of Steam video games? Oh you may be entitled God. to compensation. So I this has been going on since like May of last year. And I was like, what? But um, okay. there's a company called Wolf Fire Games. Uh, they are creating this lawsuit against Valve, against Steam, saying that they have like taken over the market. So they're... Uh, huh. Okay. The case went to this judge who has an amazing name. This is U.S. District Court Judge John C. Kugenauer. Ooh. I love that name. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, so Mr. Kugenauer, Judge Kugenauer, he says <laughs> that uh, Wolfire's allegations are uh. that Valve uses a combination of written and unwritten rules to enforce control over developers and that they're influencing okay. how games, even non-Steam-enabled ones, are sold and priced. Because Steam is generally like the lowest price marketplace that you can get all your video games in one place. Yeah. For PC. Um, so the judge feels that the allegations are sufficient to plausibly allege unlawful conduct. So it's going forward. Uh, there is a website out there. If you just type in like hmm. Steam antitrust lawsuit, you're going to find it on Google. Okay. Uh, you can actually like submit your receipts and stuff and get uh, some some money back from games you purchased on steam i think like up to 40 percent of your purchases over the last few years holy fuck dude yeah yeah if so, you buy a lot of shit that could be good money yeah for real so check that out um i don't know if it's like actually going through or still with like tangled up in the courts but it's yeah. it's happening it's hitting instagram now so okay go get your suits noise um we're gonna take a quick trip over to blizzard corner okay it's Had, been a this week. would not be friday roundup without it right so okay remember that lawsuit of those like 10 random gamers mm -hmm. they're oh. like we're gonna tie up all your yeah. resources okay. um they are now subpoenaing jim ryan and doug bowser <laughs> who are the ceos of sony and nintendo um they okay. just like hey we want your testimony <laughs> like come testify just regarding their opinions on the abk microsoft merger uh, this is all, of course, in attempts to stop the merger from happening because these 10 random gamers don't want it. It's going to be the most canceling out of things ever because Jim Ryan's going to be like, oh, I hate it. And Doug Bowser's going to be like, it's cool. <laughs> Doug Bowser's like, I don't care. Yeah, I don't give a <laughs> I'm shit. I'm just here. Uh, and then following this, like immediately afterward, Activision and Blizzard both separately subpoenaed both Nintendo and Google. <laughs> okay. So yeah there's every everyone's getting roped in at this point they're just like hey everybody okay. who's ever thought about games please come in testify call know, me man. in man i'll go they're just Why not? they're just pulling on everyone's strings right now yeah um it's a whole mess so speaking of whole mess okay bobby Caddick. all right i'm blowing this, this photo guy. up because please don't i have this. to you guys have to see the like googly eyes this man has dude my I hate this guy God. so much he looks like a puppet with marbles in him i know like they look <laughs> they like they don't belong they're too shiny I know. yeah i know like like somebody so, wax so those creepy. a little too long you know yuck uh so this dude <laughs> old bobby Kotick, he went on cnbc yeah. to talk about gaming's latest merger and okay. just be like it's all China and Japan's fault. Um, 
it got real weird real quick. So the merger has been getting shifty this week. Um, there's been okay. like some murmuring that the EU is going to come up and say like we don't want the merger to happen. So Bobby Kotick okay. is kind of making the rounds and doing interviews like this. But he's just basically trying to like stoke fears that the <laughs> Japanese and Chinese economies are dominating forces not only in gaming but in the world. And he just made it this whole interview a weird space so i would kind of like to watch it i haven't watched it i read a transcript and i was like this sucks (laughs) but okay uh so he says whether it's the ftc or the cma or the eu they don't know our industry and like man they are in the process of reviewing you right now don't fire shots at them for no reason at all (laughs) so he's like first of all they're dumb and then he goes on to say, <laughs> he goes on, I don't think they fully appreciate that it's a free to play business, that the Japanese and Chinese companies dominate the industry. Okay. Let's, let's not forget <laughs> Activision Blizzard King's catalog is like 99% not free to play. Yeah. Like they're charging people for games. They don't, they don't participate in the free to play market except for now Overwatch 2. So and, and I think Candy Crush, but you have to, like, to say, pay for that eventually, don't you? Yeah, you got to buy the additional levels and stuff. Yeah, it's like tiny microtransactions all programmed in Candy Crush. Yeah. Don't let your parents play Candy Crush. I know. <laughs> um, but anyway, so he, he goes off about that. And then he was talking about how the gaming market is not supposed to be Europe versus America. It's supposed to be us together versus the entirety of Asia. And oh, like, my God. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> very uncomfortable holy so, shit it's this like big long unhinged quote that i want to read i tried to like grab a snippet of this but i was like this whole this whole piece of bullshit is too good oh i have to take God. it together okay so i'm gonna do a dramatic reading for you i'm ready if you look at the uk and think about the post brexit uk it's probably the first country where you're seeing a recession like the real severe consequences of a recession what <laughs> You think the UK is the first country to have a recession? You live in America, Bobby. I know. You lived here, right? You like checked out what's happening on the streets? Anyway. Pretty sure the the British pound is stronger than our dollar. I have no fucking idea. Like, (laughs) okay. Yeah. So he keeps on going. If you're in the UK and you have an incredibly educated workforce, you have a lot of technical talent. Places like Cambridge where the best AI and machine learning is, I would think. You'd want to embrace a transaction like this where you're going to see job creation and opportunity. And it isn't really at all, whether it's Sony's or it's Microsoft platform. It's all about the future of technology. And, you know, they've said now for the last year, they would like to be the Silicon Valley of Europe or of the continent. And if deals like this can't get through, they're not going to be the Silicon Valley. They're going to be Death Valley. My God. <laughs> He's I... got like main character syndrome. <laughs> it's bad. I don't under I don't understand this guy. <laughs> You're not gonna be Silicon Valley. Y'all be Death Valley. What? I'm like, okay, fine. You're talking about like the AI of like their robots and stuff. What does that have to do with the new Hellblade game? <laughs> what does that have to do with I Diablo four? You know what I yeah. mean? Like you're talking different businesses of technology completely he's just grabbing his straws trying to get like anything any kind of reaction that he can i think out of people like i it was so hard to tell like do you you want people on your side for the merger in this or do you want people angry at china like what's the what's the end goal here (laughs) it was a real weird interview and he's a real weird man i've noticed that a lot of like ceo people have that same weird hairstyle too it's just like i know extra like quaffed and round it's just the, it's you know the same what I mean? length all over like he got flow veed yeah <laughs> i'm just like you got that like weird boss hair you know weird boss hair yes exactly yeah it's very weird. um but i'm gonna end blizzard <sighs> corner on a fun note okay so take us on over to this beautiful overwatch valentine's day event oh my for god please. zooming 
in oh my god i love it <laughs> okay you are so into this and it's not even like the highlight reel so this is a screenshot from his new highlight reel this is a hanzo character okay the hanzo yeah. character yeah um so in the highlight reel he fires the arrow and then he like it zooms in on him and he does this little like kiss and a wink okay and so this is like the reward that you can get from overwatch's valentine's day event which is running from february 13th to the 28th so you have a few days before that starts um so what you just Robert, get two weeks you just get two weeks i don't think you're gonna need much more oh, okay why uh it's an overwatch dating sim <laughs> it's an officially sanctioned overwatch what? dating sim created by blizzard for the first time ever in overwatch 2 it is in a browser window okay. so go to your browsers on february 13th type in loverwatch.gg <laughs> and you will be oh taken to the overwatch dating sim where you can only romance two of the characters by the way you can't romance the whole roster why, why would they why would they give you the whole roster when you can have just mercy or just genji <laughs> Mercy's Hans is not even one of the, yeah Mercy's yeah i know like, everyone loves Mercy. hans is not even one of the romanceable characters he's just like playing wingman for his brother i guess i don't really know yeah why would why, why would you want the android dude <laughs> like <laughs> which part of him is still human take this lovely man look look at look at this, this yeah. punum man <laughs> love it i just love this little hair streak it's just little curl i love this it's so funny because yeah. he's, he's always the most serious person, which is why I, I think know. this tickles me so much. I fucking yeah. love this. Pretty good. Um, so, yeah, get your lover watch on. That's coming up real soon. I will not, but... <laughs> I wish they had included the cool. whole roster. I mean, you know. You know so, what the community has done with the characters of Overwatch. <laughs> is this like a chat bot thing where, like, you're just going to, like, talk to a thing? I don't really know what to expect. They haven't been like really yeah. open about what it is. So it, like, what if it's just like, choose A, B, C, or D. What do you want to say to the person? And then you're like, oh, like I can't even really romance. I, it's just a visual novel almost. You know? That's kind of what I'm expecting out of it. It's like going to be a visual novel style thing. And you have to like select the right shit to get to the end. Okay. That's really fucking weird. I'm excited for it, but for all the wrong reasons. I just I just want I don't know. It's tickling a new part of my brain. It's super weird and I wish that this was in part one where I could indulge. <laughs> Damn it. Cause how weird. Like I was like, you're gonna you're gonna tell your kids about this one day. Like I was playing oh. a game and I had to romance <laughs> to get a fucking costume one time. God. Um that's that's a new level, Blizzard. That's yeah. Nobody's nobody sure has done that one before. <laughs> Not officially. <sighs> well, uh, you want some more gaming news? Yes, please. Okay. So, two days ago on the eighth, right? Yes. Uh, there was a Nintendo Direct that was forty minutes mm -hmm. of just upcoming games. And I mainly watched because I expected the Switch 2 to get announced because it was trending on Twitter. So okay, I was like, it's always trending on Twitter. <laughs> there may be a new Switch. But yeah. like, this was like the biggest direct that's happened in a while. So I was like, maybe. So I watched it and that did not happen. Of course not. But it never will. <laughs> boy, I was screaming the entire fucking thing, most, most of it. All right. I didn't get to watch it. So I'm really excited for your recap. Okay, uh, this is really in no particular order. This is definitely not the order it was shown on the thing or in order of my level of excitement. Okay. It's just the way things are going, here we go. We ended with uh, Tears of the Kingdom, New Breath of the Wild game. All right. I grabbed this photo because this was the end of the trailer, and I was like, that looks dope. <laughs> People are so angry at it, though. I, that's the only thing I've heard out of this. Is they're like, really? People are mad that there's vehicles now. I, like, I, I laughed out loud that he was basically <laughs> just on like a giant go kart, like controling oh it with like a joystick. It was. 
I mean, if weird. you're going to make the world so big and like take yeah, eight to ten hours to just traverse, like you need to get around. Yeah. I mean, I guess he could ride a horse, but vehicles are fun well, too. Well, see, Breath of the Wild opens with him getting a fucking tablet. Like, no. <laughs> like the whole point of Breath of the Wild is it's this fantasy meets the tech, like meets technology. Right. It's just more technology. It's not like it's all, you know, electronics and stuff. But, I mean, the yeah. fucking enemies that people hated so much, the little octopus robot dudes, they were fucking robots. There were so many robots in the There's last fucking game. Plenty of stuff in the robotic realm inside this game series. Yeah. For, for a long time. Get over <laughs> it. Get over it, guys. It looks cool, I guess. I mean... I'm more into it because it looks like it has like a much more cinematic story than like okay. other ones have had. And I know that Breath of the Wild does, which is why I'm like, I still want to play that. It's just so long and I hate breaking weapons. I, I yeah. hate that shit. But I'm, I think I'm going to try to get into Breath of the Wild seven years later now <laughs> 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 so I can get ready for this one. God. But uh, this comes out May 12th. So it's coming up soon. So all these games are basically coming out the first half of the year. Like nice. this all is right. all happening now. Right? Oh, yeah. To that effect, this had me screaming a bunch, man. <laughs> so Metroid Prime Remastered was officially announced now, right? Yes. It's just the first GameCube game remastered. It came out when the stream ended. That is nuts to me. When Nintendo does shit like that, they're just yeah. like, it's out now. They were straight up like, go get it. But you can get the physical copy of this February 22nd. So I okay. was like, do I get a digital? Because I want to play it today, but I know I want a physical. So mm, I'm probably just going to get the physical. Yeah, may as well wait. Yeah. But it looks fucking gorgeous. I was going to get way more screenshots, but this one is the one that like really captured me when they first were showing that trailer. It's just yeah. kicked my ass. Looks so good. <laughs> I've been flat. I've been watching people playing it on Twitch all day today. Nice. Uh, so on top of that, they actually opened with this one. And I played the first one a billion years ago. I barely remember it. But Pikmin 4 is okay. coming out. I think that's exciting. People love Pikmin. People yeah, think Pikmin's great. Plus, there's a fucking dog Pikmin now. He's Where's very hideous. His nose. I know. I hate him. He's very hideous <laughs> in this photo. He's cute in the game. I promise. Okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> just like just like this little bird. He's cute. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he's cute. This guy's dead, I think, which is <laughs> weird and sad. No, there was in the trailer. They were moving one of these guys' dead bodies. Oh, my God. Like, like the dog's just, like, dragging him along. So I think this is one of the dead ones. That's awesome. Kind of creepy. But, yeah, Pikmin 4. Uh, that comes out July 21st of this year. Nice. So that's cool. I love not waiting a year for a game to come out. Six months is, yeah. is a good window to get excited, you know? Definitely. So this one's five months. Good for that. Uh, then this is what also had me screaming. And I know that a lot of people probably don't care. Okay. Because <laughs> these people are big into emulation. So they okay, don't need yeah. this. But they rolled out Game Boy and Game Boy Advance on the fucking Switch Online shit. Hell yeah. I wanted that shit for a long fucking time. It's it's great. And they go, yeah, yeah. they're on there right now. Go. Right now. Go My play God, Game Boy games. So it's like, I want to. What are you waiting Thank for? Thank you worst selection of games this is it so far this is a small selection uh okay tetris sure you know <laughs> sure. zelda Link's awakening they did a switch remaster of god damn it come on so like eh. metroid 2 that's very cool i think it's very neat that people can get the second game on there that's cool but like the rest of this that's yeah, fine Gargoyles, but yeah it's alone fine. in the dark uh hey that's the game that's coming out remember the, yeah i was the, the I was new just remaster thinking. thing yeah yeah what, what okay i guess we're just getting people hyped for the remasters i guess then you got game boy advance and i was like where's the good games like <laughs> where's any good game there's nothing here i don't i'm excited that minish cap is on there because i never played it that's cool 
I never played this Mario Kart, whatever. But like, I want Metroid Fusion. I want Metroid Zero Mission. Give me the good shit. Yeah. And Metroid Zero Mission was the first one they showed for like upcoming titles that are going to come to it. And most people that I talked to after this were like, I don't care. Like I already have all these on like my Steam Deck or I yeah. have all these on my PC somewhere else. Like tons of people emulate Game Boy games because they're so easy to do. They've already yeah. got every Game Boy game that exists. For real. But it's good for preservation. It's good to know That's that... True. That it means something to them. That's why yeah. I'm excited. You know? Plus, for the Game Boy games, this was neat. You can actually go between the original Game Boy Color, where it's got that green look. You can do a Game Boy Pocket Filter or Game Boy Color Filter. That's so cool. So you can play it as if you're playing it on any three of those original consoles. I love that. It's phenomenal. I loved it. So I did play Metroid 2 for a little bit last night. And none of the rest of it, because I was like, I don't care about these. I do want to play this Mario and Luigi game. I remember that one was supposed to be really good. So one day. But this is not a lot. This is not no. a lot. Hurry up, people. <laughs> do more. Get together, Nintendo. Uh, but those are out right now, so you can go play all those. I don't know if you remember this one, but this has been a big fucking deal. This is Advance Wars. This yeah, one and two reboot camp so the yeah. whole premise of this was it was coming out last year mm -hmm. and the month it was coming out russia invaded the ukraine oh, so nintendo was like how about we don't release a game where you're invading other countries <laughs> yeah not great not a good look so they've just been kind of like hanging on to this waiting for like that to kind of subside from the public consciousness you know yeah and now they're like okay that game that was ready last year here you go. You can have it. <laughs> that must feel awful to be one of those developers. Like, shit. God yeah. damn it. I mean, you're you're in tanks shooting at, like, uh, like aircraft carriers that are firing missiles. Like, it's straight up war. You yeah, know? that feels bad right now. Yeah. But if you want to play it, if you have nostalgia, because these are just remasters of old games that are supposed to be pretty good. They're good, yeah. like, strategic, um, you know, combat games or whatever. This comes out April 21st. So All right. Get your copy. Go get you some war. This was pretty cool. So you know how Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is doing all the waves of new courses and all that stuff? Yeah. Well, they came out and said, yeah, we're doing the courses. But for the rest of these waves, we're going to throw new characters into oh, the game shit. as well. Birdo! So we're getting Birdo, Fuck which yes. is awesome. Because I love Birdo. Trans icon. I love Yeah, Birdo's great. Actually... The person I was watching play Metroid Prime all day was a trans mm -hmm. streamer. And I was like, there oh, you go. very neat. So, yeah. Birdo's... This is the only <laughs> character they announced. But they An said... An orange Birdo back there? Yeah, there's a yellow An one. yellow Birdo? What's happening? You can change... It's like the Yoshis, how you can be like all the different colors and stuff. Okay. Birdo does the same thing. Huh. <clears throat> um, but yeah. So, I don't know who else they could bring in. But I guess we'll find out when the next wave rolls out, you know? Yeah. Uh, and there's no word on when that next wave is happening. They just wanted to say, hey, Birdo's coming and more characters to follow. Which All is right. neat. Uh, then we got some Splatoon 3 news. It's getting a gigantic um, expansion pass thing. So you're getting nice. Inkopolis, which was the city from the very first game. Uh, so you can go back to the like original game's hub area and stuff and cool. they're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff and then there's a thing called the side order which i guess there's gonna be maybe more missions or something they didn't really give a lot of info on that okay so i don't know but i think it's cool i love that like each of these games never forgets the ones before it yeah and they'll like nice. remember the icons from like the first two and stuff i think that's awesome so then this one i'm super excited for <laughs> because this game came out on the wii and i didn't get it like when it first came out and then it became one of the hardest to acquire wii games and i was mm -hmm. never able to find a copy never played the fucking game okay what is it but now it's being remastered for the switch so i can go get on february 24th so right around the corner here fucking kirby's return to dreamland because i love oh. me some kirby games nice 
But the cool thing about this one is when you beat the game, you actually get an entire other story mode with this character right here. Cool. So they've added like a whole new like mini half game, I guess. Okay. Which sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. Like this is the one curve. Well, it's this one. And there was one on the 3DS that I never got. Like I've owned every Kirby game. I fucking love Kirby. Kirby's the best. If you don't like Kirby, dude, get out of my face. Kirby's the all best. Right. And look, he's all happy on it. He always looks mad. But he was looking great. So this Wii remaster is coming out. And I thought that's what it was. But I got that confirmed. So that's good. Nice. Then they were just dropping demos all over the fucking place. Hell yeah. The demo for this. Go get it. It's out. Fucking play you demo. Oh, you really excited for Octopath Traveler 2? That demo's out today. What? Cool. Yeah, so they dropped this big demo. It's like the first few hours of the game, and of course, all that Damn. transfers into the game should you buy it. Good. I love the demos that do that, where like, I get to play for two hours and go, I would like to buy it, but I don't have to restart. Yeah, I can continue I, from there. That feels so bad when you've played a lot of a demo and then you have to restart. You're like, God dang it. I gotta do it all over again. I know. So, this is one... I thought you'd like this art the most. Yeah, this is very nice. But um, I always wanted to play the first one simply because of the art style. Like, I really don't even want to play the game for the game. I just think it looks that good. Is this how the game looks? Like, all painterly and shit? No. it's It was, like, the first that really started that uh, 2D, 3D stuff. So, like, the environments are 3D, but you're a 2D sprite walking through Okay. It. They look phenomenal. Like little Paper Mario's. Oh. Yeah, it's it's fucking neat. Um, so that demo came out today, which I probably won't try because I need to play the first game. But everyone's in love with this person. You ready? Who else is getting a game? I found this game very weird. Okay. Bayonetta's getting an origin game oh, where it's weird. her like before she became the full fledged witch that she is today. And this is after all that Bayonetta drama. I want. Do they have like a new voice actor? I don't know. Because, of, huh. of course, that wasn't a part of it. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't think she talks. Okay. Because it's... <laughs> That's how they got around it. It's, it's not the same style game at all. It's not an action game like that. It looks more like a... Like it's going to be kind of a story kind of platformer. It's... Uh, do you remember that game I told you about Brothers a long time ago? Yes. Where you control each one with a different thumbstick? Yeah, I still want to play that. Okay. You control her with a thumbstick... And this monster with a thumbstick. Ooh. So you're constantly playing with two people. She uses her spells to like freeze enemies in place. And then you control the monster to attack. Okay. So she does no attack. She's simply a support to this creature thing. And then you kind of just like find out how she became who she becomes. Weird. Which is neat. I've never played a Bayonetta game. So I'm not super excited. But if you love Bayonetta, I doubt you're going to say no to more. You know, those flowers in the bottom left are like feet. Uh, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me a uh, fern gully vibes. Yeah, that these little dudes right here. Yeah, this monster thing is really cool, though. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, so this is Cereza and the Lost Demon. It looks pretty neat. It does. It's the art style, and this is quite striking. Yeah, and it kind of looks like that in game too. So oh, good. That's pretty neat. Reminds me of Gris almost. A little bit. Now, this one, I never played this. Oh, well, Bayonetta comes out March 17th. So that's a month away, too. Like, we're right, right. around the corner with almost all this. Uh, Do you ever play Dead Cells? No. Do you remember Dead Cells? Like, yeah. one game of the year for being a roguelike. Supposed to be, like, fucking amazing. One of the greatest yeah. games of all time. Well, they're teaming up with Castlevania. <laughs> okay. So there's a whole new pack that you can get where you get to wield the Morning Star, like his whip from the games. I love how oh. it looks. Yeah. Like I'm very into it because I love Castlevania. Very old school. So maybe I get into Dead Cells, play that, maybe. and then hop into this, you know. Uh, this comes out March 6th. So I'm excited. And you're wielding like all the weapons from the Castlevania game, but nice. in Dead Cells, which is fine. So then this one made Taylor stop in, stop in her track. She was like, what is that game? What is that? 
And this is Fantasy Life, I, the Girl Who Steals Time. Okay, I like this, this title. This is your new Animal Crossing. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, is this where she's like flying around on like a little the air broom? thingy? No. No, that's a different one. But I'm okay. real excited for that game. Yeah. This one, I'm not at all excited for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's it's Animal Crossing. You're just going to like run this town and build it up. I see, you can... sheep. I see sheep though. Yeah, because you can There's have like a farm. Animal. Oh my God. You can fight that. dragons. You can customize your town, build swings cool. everywhere. You can cook, my man. You oh can do anything and everything, just like Animal Crossing. But you are a witch, like cementing okay. her magic in this town. I love that. Yeah, I don't want this game, but I do. <laughs> Taylor was like, "Give to me today." Yeah, this looks good. When is this one out? This this just has the year, so this is oh, coming out oh. this year in 2023. <laughs> Okay. But they don't have a date, which is kind of bad. Yeah, it's going to be 2024. Because <laughs> they did say most of these were the first half of the year. Because mm -hmm. this next one, they were this this whole presentation was just littered with visual novels. Oh, my God, yes. So many. Exciting. But this one in particular I had for you. Okay. So there's one where you were like a cop that dies and you actually control his ghost trying to solve other crimes and his own murder oh. doing stuff like that one seemed neat yeah but this one is right up your alley okay Ooh. so this is called harmony the fall of reverie okay great name this is by life is strange don't Fuck nod yes. studios okay okay so this is by those people the choices are gonna matter Yes. But it is a straight up visual novel. This is the gameplay. This is oh, the art style. This is pretty. So basically, I guess you live in a world where there's like gods, demons, and apostles and stuff. And they're okay. all vying for power. And you're kind of in the middle or something. Yeah. So you're going to make friends with different gods, different people with powers and stuff. And you're just like, I guess, trying to bring peace to the realm, maybe. Okay. Like, Like, you're the harmony, I guess, you know. So yeah. this, this dude's name is literally Chaos. Like, he is just the god of chaos, you know? Cool. I just thought you'd love... It's colorful as shit, man. Yeah, this is very, like, splashy. It's a lot. The big crystal skull in the background is drawing my eyes. Yeah. And it's by Don't Nod. We know you like them. So Heck yeah. this one could be good. I mean, they just won a Games for Change award at the Game Awards this last year. Mm -hmm. So... But then we had one final game. This was like smack dab in the middle of the presentation. Okay. I have okay. no sound for you. But, and no sound for you guys. But I do have a trailer okay. of, a, of a game that's coming out that I was, as soon as I saw it, was like, oh, that's for Kelsey. Okay. So. It was all steampunky. Oh my god, new Professor Layton? Oh my god, what? Wow. When's the last time they had a Professor Layton game? I don't know, but this one's coming straight to the Switch. Oh my god, new world of Steam. A new mystery will begin. Ah! So long. <laughs> oh my god. This um doesn't have a date at all. Fuck. Um so the Don't Nod game just said June. It didn't even say uh, like a date. Just said, ah, June. Okay. And this one's just like, Professor Layton. There you go. Duh. Okay. They're just like, we're thinking about Professor Layton again. Yeah. So, I mean, dude, like we played it on like DS stuff. Nothing's really yeah. moving. This is like, this is You're like, like in the world. Real. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, look at this guy. Yeah. He's like a fully realized model of a character now. Like. That's... Like, can you imagine having to solve, like, 3D puzzles with this guy? No, thank you, Professor. <laughs> I mean, I already got fucked up just by the one where it was, like, you had to pause the game to find the answer or something stupid. Oh, my God. I hated that shit. So, that was your big surprise one. I'm I was so happy. I was pretty sure you were going to know, but you didn't know, so that's good. I did not know. And that's about it. Pretty much. All right. That was it. Like, I left with Game Boy and Metroid, but there were bunch of other like this was a bunch of games tons yeah. of dates 
I didn't even mention half the indie games that were I- in there that they brought up. One of them I think we talked about already, but like just they dropped probably 30 plus game release dates and stuff like dang. They littered it. It was Nintendo great. means business in 2024 or 2023. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be like another really stacked year for gaming. Like people are <sighs> yeah, ready for it. I hope so and I don't hope so because I don't have money for games like that this year. <laughs> for real but uh yeah that is your nintendo direct stuff with all the goodies exciting there you go and i guess with that that's all we got here for the friday yeah, roundup yeah. uh hopefully you found some movie and game news that you enjoyed hopefully you enjoyed the ever continuing blizzard mess that is them i know that deal is getting pushed back <laughs> i feel it in my squishies we got four months we gotta know pretty soon TikTok. so and with that we will see you guys in seven days see you next week seven days. bye <laughs> bye guys <laughs>